Hey, it's Tim and I'm at the Everything Electric Show. I just want to do a quick impromptu review with Eric here. I've got Michael behind the camera. Thank you, Michael, for, we just had some awesome sushi. Oh my God, the sushi here, Miku. If you're ever in Vancouver, oh, amazing sushi. Um, this is the uh, Bictrix Swift CVT, which stands for Continuous Variable Transmission. That's why we bring Eric, because the smart stuff comes out of him. This is really interesting because I've never tried an e-bike that has a continuous variable transmission. And I've just been riding it around the block here, trying it out. It's unusual, but it's smooth. What's really cool about it is the way that you engage it on here. Like you're so accustomed to using your thumb or finger to go rippling up and down through the gears. But with this one here, that is, it's intriguing. It's like, it's just so interesting. I've never seen anything like it. You can see here, I'm kind of adjusting it here on the fly. It's super smooth. There's no, oh, there's... Did you see this move? Yeah, this moves <laughs> up and down. But it's, that's a mechanical, it's an analog. Yeah, it's an analog here. Gauge. Oh, that is so cool. But it's digital down, it's... <laughs> the whole thing, I just, anyway, that's, that was a I scream. I still don't get it. I think you have to ride it in order to really appreciate it. Yeah, it's really smooth. Like as you go through the gears, it's really smooth. It also comes with this bar. So if you don't like the step through, or maybe, you know, you're riding around, you've got, you know, want to put the bike on the back of a, of a carrier or something like that. And you need that extra bar. You can actually get that installed. The other thing I haven't tried before on an e-bike is this thing here. We're going to call it a belt. What's it actually called? Belt. It's belt. a belt. It's a belt. And again, so it's super quiet. So you don't have the chain. They last forever, right? They That's, do. They last a really long time. It's and like no five grease. or ten times. The grease no, up your hands. And if I touch it, I'm not getting dirt. That's probably from the sushi. But it, <laughs> what an interesting bike. It's got a 15 amp hour battery. It's got a 48 volt, uh, sorry. Yeah, 48 volt um, mid drive in the middle here. It's quite smooth. 500 watt. 500 watts in the mid drive, which is kind of big. I think there's an optional 20 amp hour battery as well. And it's got um, good brakes. It's got, uh, what am I calling these kind of brakes? Uh, those are hydraulic. I don't know. Yeah, they're hydraulic. Manufacturer is. And it's got the hydraulic brakes, which is really nice. I really thought it was interesting. I think if I was going to get something like this for myself, I'd probably go with a, a slightly different profile on the tire or probably go for a, a more urban tire. But wow, that was really interesting. But um, how it's about, great what to see some innovation coming out of Canadian company. Canadian right? company, yeah. I I've like I've seen e-bikes with belt drives before, but they're usually a e-bike first, less of a bike. There's no gears. It's just a purely it's like a motorcycle. So that's what the benefit that this continuous variable transition transmission gives you. You can have a belt and have gears. You get your cake and you eat and it too. too. I also like simple things like uh, the colors I actually like as well, but also it's always, I find important, I think, comfort first, but then also let's get the aesthetics right. I don't like seeing great big batteries hanging off a bike. This one is enclosed nicely here. It looks really sharp and uh, yeah. so. That's it from me on the CVT from here in Vancouver. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Eric. Eric, was there anything else you wanted to ask or add to that? Nope. Okay.